Hello, royal fans. Today's headline. He isn't qualified. Prince Harry urged to stop mental health pioneering. The Duke of Sussex recently took part in a Q&A with Fast Company, a US business magazine, while discussing his role as chief impact officer with California-based mental health startup BetterUp. Harry spoke about a mental health awakening and has seen droves of people quit their jobs in order to prioritize their happiness and mental health. During the interview, the Duke addressed the increase in number of resignations witnessed following the COVID-19 pandemic. Prince Harry said issues such as increased burnout and people wanting to quit their jobs had been brought to the forefront during this period, but had been brewing for quite some time. He added, We're just at the beginning of the mental health awakening. The work on mental health has never been more important because people are finally paying attention, and a big component of this mission is building awareness and continuing to pioneer the conversation. On numerous occasions in the past, the Duke has opened about his own mental health struggles, particularly how the tragic and sudden death of his mother, Princess Diana, impacted him. He also spoke about his mother's death earlier this year as part of a mental health docuseries entitled The Me You Can't See that he produced with US chat show host Oprah Winfrey. While Harry has received much praise for his mental health campaigning, one royal commentator lashed out at the Duke following his recent interview. Commentator Jonathan Sacredotti claimed that while Harry has previously spoken out about his own mental health battles and has sought help from a mental health professional, it does not make him qualify to pioneer the conversation or the topic. Mr. Sacredotti said he talks of the mental health awakening as if mental health and psychology are somehow new discoveries. He may personally be adjusting to a newfound awareness of mental illness and trying to achieve happiness, but his talk of wanting to pioneer the conversation just sounds a bit flat. As far as I know, he isn't qualified or trained in the field of psychology or psychotherapy, Mr. Sacredotti added. You might say that being a patient doesn't make one an effective or knowledgeable doctor. Harry and his wife Meghan had also previously stated that their mental health was one of the main reasons for their step away from the royal family. Meghan opened up about her suicidal thoughts during her time in the royal family during the couple's interview with Oprah Winfrey back in March. Following their steps away from duties earlier last year, the couple moved to California, where they lead a financially independent lifestyle, with their two children, six-month-old Lilibet and Archie. There you have it guys, today's royal news, done and dusted. Thank you for watching, thank you for your support, and goodbye for now.